Hi, I'm Zach. Welcome to my lab. We're going to do a little test. Say hello to my little friend. So this apparatus, uh, all we've got is an air cylinder here and a little valve. So what this is going to do is this is going to show us, we're going we're gonna to do a comparison across the cloth t-shirt face mask, our face mask, and an N95, just so you can visually see what's going on. This is a very scientific test, and I'd like to acknowledge my brother-in-law, Dr. Chinatambi at the uh, University of Iowa. He's a biomedical engineer who pointed out this test that they use in laboratories. So we just want to visually help everybody uh, see how all of these different masks that are on the market are working, including ours. So what I have here, excuse my rudimentary laboratory, I'm just going to show a comparison of what a cough, a sneeze, breathing, blowing uh, is compared to this thing so that we get the same test on all three of the uh, experiments. So what I'm going to do here is just a little paddle. So when I'm blowing on this, that's just a sustained blow. Okay, now I'm going to sneeze. Or I'm going to cough. Okay. So now I'm going to compare this to this guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to run an experiment on this N95 face mask, a surgical face mask. Uh, we're going to cut up this t-shirt. This is a Gildan 100% cotton shirt like everybody else is using. We're going to do one experiment with one layer and another one with two layers. And then we're going to do this on our six ply disposable paper face mask. So here's how this air is going to blow out this birthday candle. Here's our N95. All right, so here we've got one layer of t-shirt material hooped up. And here we have two layers of t-shirt material. Here we have a regular surgical face mask. And here we have our six ply paper face mask. So again, the purpose of this video is to give multiple comparisons for multiple reasons. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on like this, and I'm not knocking anything. This isn't a, hey, buy my stuff versus this stuff. I want to help uh, you with your customers where they say, you're selling a what? You're selling a paper napkin and it's a face mask? I don't understand. This makes a lot of sense-ish, but you get to make your own judgment call on the flame test. You've obviously got the N95s that are very precious. Those things are going for over $5 right now. I don't know what they're going to be in the next couple weeks. But right here is what I want to eliminate. Right now, our face mask is uh, going for $0.75 cents a piece blank for $1,000. So if you have a company, your staff, anybody that has a, a, a large organization and people need to get back to work, you got to start looking at these big numbers here. When you're getting a... Uh, a t-shirt mask that costs $2 a piece or $3 a piece, that company right now with the funds so tight, they are going to have to fork over this and this where you can have a disposable face mask and everybody from the flame test is going to be a lot safer for a lot less money. And then when you get a large company or some governmental organization or some, again, large company or a school or a hospital where they're ordering over 10000 these are the numbers that you're going to be dealing with. So right now where money is tight, it's really, really important that one, you understand how our face mask compares up to an N95, the surgical face mask uh, coming from China, and also these uh, t-shirts. So make your own judgment call, call your dealers. If you have any questions, you can reach out. But right now you got some really cheap insurance. Wash your hands, stay six feet away, and wear a mask.